major news out of Arizona tonight. Arizona's Supreme Court is upholding a 123-year-old law on abortion. That is crazy. But remember, it's Arizona, so it's a dry crazy. From coast to coast, even on late night talk shows, abortion in Arizona and the decision by our state Supreme Court to uphold a near total ban is being talked about. Rachel Louise Just with our ABC 15 political team shows us the path forward on this issue. Two days after the historic abortion ruling, the center of political activity in Arizona is virtually a ghost town. Lawmakers are preparing for the end of the 2024 session, and the governor says it'll likely stay this empty. But that doesn't mean she's given up on restoring abortion access. This fight is absolutely not over, and uh, I will continue to use every everything in my power to make sure that Arizonans have access to health care. Everything in Hobbs's power right now includes working with Republicans to find some solution to keep abortion accessible. Who she's talking to, she won't say. But she's running out of time as the part-time legislature has already wound down to just one day a week in session. Do not, do not but a protest in the House Wednesday tells us there is still a major divide. For those, it's unconscionable that you would murder a perfectly a healthy child. That protest happening as almost every House Republican voted. 30 eyes, 29 nose. Twice to block a vote on repealing the 1864 ban. You saw what happened yesterday. The votes obviously are not there. Hobbs says forcing lawmakers back to the Capitol with a special session is unlikely. Yes, I have a bully pulpit, but I just like that's just not that right answer right now. Many of those who fought for the very pre-statehood ban Arizona now prepares for are ready for another fight to keep it around. Arizona needs to understand that this was a decision on statutory construction. It was on which law would take effect and the court made the right decision. What do we want? Women's rights! The issue continues to capture national attention. VP Kamala Harris will be in Tucson Friday for a meeting focused on reproductive rights. If nothing comes from talks with lawmakers, it's voters who may have the final word. A ballot measure that would alter Arizona's constitution to guarantee abortion access has gathered more than 500,000 signatures. And they say they'll continue until the issue is on November's ballot. For ABC 15's political team, I'm Rachel Louise Just.